Greetings. Yeah. Welcome to an LGR blurbs about this replicate amusements thing. It's another one of those deals from New Wave Toys. Yeah, this is their Dragon's Lair mini arcade machine. Ah, yes, I've been waiting for this one ever since I saw a uh, early version of it back at E3 2019. So it looked really impressive just in terms of the, the whole doing a laser disc FMV kind of game cabinet in a miniature form. I've never seen that done before. You always see like eight 16 bit era arcade games. So I pledged to the crowdfunding campaign as soon as they put that online. And it finally showed up uh, two or three weeks ago, but I'm just now getting to it because other things have been going on or whatever. It was Dragon's Lair time. But yeah, what really impressed me it was just everything <laughs> about the prototype. But the fact that it had like the, the, the little red LED scoreboard up above the gameplay screen. I mean, the Dragon's Lair arcade cabinet is one of my favorite cabinets. I'm not a huge fan of the game necessarily, other than the artwork, just Don Bluth. But the fact that the cabinet itself is so unique. And this has replicated so much of that, including the laser disc drive or, uh, you know, a replica version of it in miniature form. It, this ticks like every single button for me in terms of collectibles that I love uh, on many, many levels. Inside the box is another box, as usual. They always do a, a nice tidy job packaging these things. <laughs> like I was a 1983 copyright on there. 330. Okay, this is really cool. What? So look, it's got the actual like dimensions and weight and everything of the real life machine on there. That's really cool. Have they done that on their other cabinets? I haven't noticed if they have. Anyway, that's awesome. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh -huh. It's stuck together. Ah. There we go. This is looking awesome. Already, check this out. Don Bluth presents Dragon's Lair. Yes, this is an officially licensed thing. I got the full game in there. Limited edition 12 inch play scale. Yeah, it's a one sixth scale thing. Look at that, look at that, these features. Second screen scoreboard, USB connectivity for external controllers. HD TV, uh, yeah, you got HDMI output on here, so you can plug it into a TV now and get that full like FMV experience. Just this kind of an all in one collector's Dragon's Lair thing, which is probably why it sold out so quick when it finally did show up for sale non-crowdfunded. Usually you can get these on their website relatively easily you know, with their other, uh, their other arcade machines. And I have bought all of them at this point, but um, <laughs> yeah, this one was $120, so a bit of a costly one, but it's got so much cool stuff in there, including a replica laser disc player and a little laser disc, oh man. Oh yes. Some of that lovely Dragon's Lair artwork. <laughs> and some other little collectibles. It's like a Princess Daphne sticker right there. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's just get all these things out of here and we'll take a look at them individually. What? They included one of these two? That's cool. I don't remember if this was like a perk for the crowdfunding or if this just comes with it now. That thing is heavy. It's like a solid metal coin reject. Keychain. It's almost too heavy to use as a keychain. I've seen these on their website though. I think that is, yeah, it must be a backer reward because it says, thank you backer. I don't know if these are the same ones they sell on their website, but yeah, look at that. It lights up. <laughs> that feels like actual arcade quality metal too. Seriously, it's got heft to it. What a neat little thingy. Mmm, and here we go. Ooh, this looks good. Look at this thing. Look at this. I've got the funky marquee up top there, and that's one of the defining things of a Dragon's Lair machine. These buttons look great. This whole thing looks great. Again, the detail in these things is always really good. <laughs> it's got their new coin door, so it says a Replitronics there instead of like whatever logo for the company. I think you can replace that because there was some, uh, a little bit of debate 
as to whether or not people wanted this to say Replitronics or have an arcade company thing on there. I'm gonna swap it out if I can. But yeah, of course, got the little coin door, the little, little coin buttons. You can press them. They are for activating things within the game, options and such. Key doesn't turn on any of these, but you know, looks cool. Got some nice artwork on the side. I mean, just whew. artwork in general is always really high quality in these things. Nice print quality and all that vinyl. Oh, this is so neat. Better be for 120 daggum dollars. I got a couple speakers here. Uh, USB charging. So I don't know if it's going to have a charge. Normally they have a little bit of charge. So there's power, volume, and USB 1 and 2, I guess for the external controllers. I wonder if you can use the Street Fighter ones that they can't, because the, they did a Street Fighter 2 release as well, and that has external controllers. And here we go. Yeah, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool yeah you know what like even if they'd sold this on its own i would have bought it because i'm just a big fan of miniatures a big fan of small things eh, whatever oh look at this little guy this is this is lovely yep that is a little laser disc remote control <laughs> Battery's not included, oh no. This has a little, little resting spot on the top of the unit right there. And here we go. I forget what exact model of Laserdisc player this is modeled after, but it is the real thing that was used in the original Dragon's Lair. Of course, I got the Laserdisc logo, but uh, it says Replitronics on there. There goes the remote. <laughs> it's even got the translucent red-ish plastic right there on top for the lid. And a little spindle. And of course, we gotta get the laser disc. There is the laser disc. <laughs> Heck yeah, Princess Daphne. Stick that on one of my, my speakers with stickers on it. Anybody else have like a piece of equipment or a shelf or something you just stick all your stickers on? For me, it's a couple sets of speakers that I use for my cassette player. Anyway, well, one of my cassettes. Uh, let's see, is this, yeah, I think this is like the, the coin door logo replacement thingy. It might just be a blank one. And here's the laser disc. <laughs> so check it out. Yeah, Dragon's Lair was famous for running off of a laser disc. So of course you gotta have that as part of the experience. Look at that. Don't see any disc rot. That's good. Looks like there's probably a little film on here. Yeah, there's a little. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. It's even got the right kind of sheen. Or very, you know, close to it. It's a great approximation. Program material has been recorded only on the other side of this video disc. And it's got the right label on the other side. That is... Yeah, great attention to detail. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one started right there. Wonderful. And so that just hangs out in there. Looking awesome, but out of the way since it doesn't actually do anything, of course. Stick the little sleeve in here too. Oh, yes, and of course we got some little tiny quarters, little twenty-five cent pieces. Again, they don't actually go in the slots as discussed in one of the other videos I did on these, but it's nice to have them. And you can just sort of stick them in here, and let them hang out. Doink. There we go. So look at that. Got that scoreboard up there. With the speakers. Actual speakers are coming around back, but you know, this is great. Don't know if it actually has a charge. 
The other ones usually have a little bit, but we'll turn on here in a second. See, let's see what this is about, though. The little logo replacement thingy. Huh. Yeah, I guess it is just blank. You can put whatever you want on front. It's got a 3M adhesive deal on the back, but there's like a little cutout for the Replitronics logo there. <laughs> well, it protrudes a bit, but still... I prefer the cleaner look and maybe I'll, I don't know, it'd be cool to get like a little decal, silk screeny type of thing to put on there. And we got a manual, but yeah, we'll look at that in a sec. See if it turns on. I was doing something. Hey, here we go. Nice. Hoo hoo. <laughs> uh, dude, the scoreboard lighting up. Look at that. That looks so good. Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair. Yes. A fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle <laughs> of a wizard. That scoreboard. I, I can't get over how cool that looks. I'm just inserting credits there and you can see those going up. Hmm. <laughs> And we'll press start. We got five lives. I'll look through the manual too, really quick, just to see if eh, there's any interesting special features. Dang, they upgraded the quality of this too. Like seriously, that's on like some nice RPG manual paper. <laughs> what do you call that? It's got a nice grain to it. It's like thicker cardstock with some. Yeah, like I said, just a nice grain. Okay, so. Button four is still the menu. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Change the brightness, audio output, attract mode, audio, on or off. Dirks, <laughs> Dirks, per credit. Got the marquee on or off. Ah, that's cool, yeah, I didn't even notice the marquee was on, but. Yeah. Difficulty level, definitely gonna put that on easy. <laughs> Screen blanking? Yeah, we'll leave that off. Okay, well, whatever. Good times. Yeah, I like that. Uh, put this in a different position. Record a game of me playing this terribly because I am terrible at it. And who isn't? I mean, seriously, who's good at this game? Who actually likes this? I don't know. I can understand being fond of uh, a lot of the things about Dragon's Lair. I certainly am. But the gameplay <laughs> is not one of those things. Oh, this has got to be the worst way to play this. <laughs> It's tiny little joystick and these, these tiny buttons. Okay. Oh dear. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Come on now. Ah, no, that way. That way. Whoops. Wrong way. Come on now. Uh-huh. I don't remember what to do in the rapids. Oh, <laughs> ah, you know, that's more like how I was expecting this to go. Whoops, what do I do there? Oh, ah, I forgot. I haven't seen that screen in a while. It's been a long time since I played this game, now that I think about it. Probably four or five years. Eh, no. Well, that's a typical game out of Dragon's Lair right there. Nope. What? Crap! Thought you swung at those stupid... Nope. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Why can't I get the marble section? Come on now. They press forward. You press it again? Okay. Come on. 
Ah! Should have jumped, I guess. <laughs> dragon's Lair, a I mean, you know, it's Dragon's Lair. You take it or leave it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but man, does this thing look fantastic. Truly. <laughs> there we go. Looking fantastic. It's going to look awesome. And the rest of my replicade arcade I've got going on. I'll probably very rarely play it. Uh, just, you know, to show it to people, I guess, every so often. Somebody comes over like, oh, what is that? That's pretty much when I play these little replicades. They're not really playing type of machines. They're just sort of, they, they look great. They're fun little collectibles. And if you're uh, susceptible to miniature type things, which are still functional, technically, then it's highly appealing, I think. Uh, yeah, this though. The little details, the little mini disc, all this stuff. It's just, it's wonderful, I think. Um, you know, a bit hefty on the price. And like I said, it's not even in stock right now. But uh, yeah, I guess I, I just, I'm a sucker for these things that this company makes. So anyway, hope that you enjoyed seeing this one. That's all for this blurb. Thank you for watching.